I'm Brian Barney, the host of Eastman's Elevated Podcast. I'm bow hunting high country mule deer. Back in this country, it's just as tough as it gets. It's really, you gotta carry everything you own on your back and camp back in here, you're climbing all the time. You work so hard back here to get an opportunity to be able to put a good arrow into a buck. Well, I'm scouting here in Wyoming. It's my third trip. Um, I've got seven days into scouting. Um, I found a pretty good spot here. Gosh, I've seen 30 some bucks and seen some pretty good ones here. So um, Saturday today, I got to come out tomorrow, but I'm going to cover country today and keep glassing and see if I can find some more good spots. But I'm definitely going to be back in this spot in two weeks. So um, should be good here. I'm just putting in my time. Okay, 2016 Wyoming mule deer hunt here. We're just headed in. This is where the rubber meets the road. So we'll hit this trail up here. We got six, eight miles and got to fill up our water. Few trucks in the parking lot, but that's to be expected. That's public land. So there's been a big fire in this area. So it, we aren't in any danger or anything like that, but it is burning in a few different spots. So we got some smoke to deal with. And so hopefully we get the wind in the right direction here and get clear looking and clear glassing for these muleys. Yep, so we're doing the tough work now. We're just getting our camp in here. We got six, eight miles we're making it in and all the elevation we gotta gain, but we got a sweet spot on the back side of the ridge where we're gonna set our camp. And, and then from there, we can go four miles in one direction or four miles in the other direction and come back to our camp every night and locate bucks. So we're setting ourselves up right. We're just doing the tough work now and getting in there and getting camp set up. All right, we made it to the top here. It was a grind with all our weight, but uh, the hard work's paying off. We got up here and we found a buck right as we got up here. And he's a nice older buck, but he's just got kind of crab claws on him. So he's not a shooter for us, but definitely an older deer. So it's a good sign anyways, but uh, we're gonna go over the top here and, and grab a good vantage point here and try to look for some of these bucks that, that I found during scouting and see if we can put our eyes on some of these bigger ones. So um, Jack to make it up here. This is just where we need to be. Well, it's too bad. It's just the way it is. Muley hunting. This buck's just feeding it. The buck has no idea he's there for right now. So we got over the ridge here, and there's a couple guys over here. We got a guy on a vantage point, a guy making a stock on a buck, but it's, it's to be, you know, you expect it in here. I mean, it's just good public land, but we do have four bucks behind us that nobody's on or nobody sees, and we're gonna get after them tomorrow and get a play on one of these bucks. We'll see what these guys do on this buck and, and uh, try to find our own spot to hunt here. But uh, um, so far, so good. Seeing a few bucks, couple guys, but to be expected. Okay, we're just climbing up here this morning, kind of getting a vantage point, the sun's coming up. There's bucks all over around us here. We're seeing some decent ones, but not seeing anything next level. But we're gonna get up a little bit higher and find a master vantage point and then try to bed down a buck and get a stalk. OK, 
Okay, so we made it up to this master vantage point. It's just a sick view. We can just see everything. And so we've been picking out bucks the whole way up and we got up here and found a big group of bucks, like seven, eight bucks in there. And there's one that's a shooter in there. So we're gonna keep our eyes on them here and try to put them to bed and try to make a play on them. Well, it was a good morning. We saw over 20 bucks this morning with some good shooters in it. We don't have any real slam dunk plays. We've got a few bedded over here that we can kind of position ourselves above and it's all thick cover they're disappearing into. So we just have to wait for them to get up and then try to make our play from there. But so as we get in here, it's September 2nd today. These bucks are starting to move to secondary living. Um, I scouted it a couple weeks ago and, and all the bucks were up on the tops and now we're starting to see bucks that have shed their velvet and they're starting to move down and they're kind of just in the gnarlier lower country feeding in the green shoots and bedding down there so it adds a degree of difficulty but at least we're seeing bucks and still finding them so we'll be able to get some plays. All right, we just bedded this nice buck up and through here. They got back up and kind of fed out. We're gonna make a play on him here. He's kind of bedded in this lower timber patch and we're gonna to try to sneak to the higher timber patch. There's quite a few bucks in there, but I think we can slip in there and wait for him. So just Jack, this is, this is what we do it for us right now, being able to get a stock with all the hard work is for and hiking up here and, and setting our camp and finding this buck. So we're pumped. We're gonna go get set up and see if we can make a play on this thing. We were getting pretty close to this buck and some kids shot a buck down below us in the valley down there. They started hooping and hollering and they spooked this whole valley out of here. There was bucks that went that way, bucks that went this way, and we were close on some bucks coming up to us, but uh, they were too quick and spooked. We didn't get a chance at them. Uh, we just relocated them up on the ridge there, so just more guys moving in here all the time. We saw guys coming up on the trail. Today's Friday, so local guys have the weekend off and. They're making trips in here and they kind of use this bow season as scouting, but yeah, it's a long ways in here, but it's just a little too easy to get to. There's a trail that leads over the saddle and so guys know there's deer here. So we're gonna make a play on these tonight and if it doesn't happen, we're gonna go to more rugged remote country and try to find some deer that we can hunt ourselves. Bigger box were bedded right there. She's coming through. Dang it. We were perfect right in range. We could only see the two two points. The two bigger box were right there with them. We were inside 40 yards. The one two point, he must have seen something and got a little nervous. We just didn't pan out. That's how it goes when you're muley hunting. Okay, so we just got done with this stock over the hill on these bucks and we blew them out and came back over to put our shoes on. We just spotted a nice buck in the bottom. He's by himself feeding in a little green depression. I think we can get right up on him. We're gonna get our stuff on here and see if we can't make something happen on this buck.
I got him. He's hit back, but he was bleeding really good. I don't know how I hit him back, but I saw a bunch of blood coming out. Maybe that was the exit going that way. I think I hit him better when he was facing this way and it went through him. He's a done deal. He's bleeding good. <laughs> that was sweet. Right on, dude. Oh, so killer. We just messed up a stalk up the hill and then get it right on that one. We got good red blood, we got bubbles in it. So I had to get a lung going in and just quartered all the way through them. So that broadhead did its work. This, this buck's bleeding really good going through here. So we haven't found the, the arrow yet, but we found good blood going in. So this buck isn't gonna make it too far. <gasps> right there, right as I say that, there's the arrow. Crazy, yep. Arrow looks great, total pass through. We're just gonna give him a little bit more time and then we're gonna get on the blood trail and track him down. So, just jacked, couldn't be any better. Yeah, he didn't go far at all. He's right here. Gosh, Harley, he had to be dead 30 seconds from when we shot him. He ran right through here and done deal. Here he is, 2016 buck. He didn't go too far. A grave digger did its job, but I'm just thrilled to death. I mean, back in this extreme country to put down a buck like this with your bow, you got to work so hard at it. You're constantly putting on miles. And if you count all my scouting days in here and miles I have in here, it, it's probably close to 100, if not more. I'm just thrilled to get them done. We had messed up a stock on another buck up on top there, and we were on the highest peak up there. The thing's got to sit 10.8 or 10.9 or something like that. And, and uh, went back to put on our shoes and glass down, and and saw this buck down here feeding by himself. So we're just thrilled in this backcountry to be able to take a buck like this. Doesn't get any better. Mm -hmm.